This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is cholesterol ester transfer protein? Answer, CETP mediates the transfer of cholesterol esters to other lipoprotein particles. Question, what is the function of hepatic lipase? Answer, hepatic lipase degrades TGs remaining in intermediate density lipoprotein and chylomicron remnants. Question, what is the role of hormone sensitive lipase? Answer, hormone sensitive lipase degrades TGs stored in adipocytes and promotes gluconeogenesis by releasing glycerol. Question, Question, what does lecithin cholesterol acyltransferase do? Answer, lecithin cholesterol acyltransferase catalyzes the esterification of two-third of plasma cholesterol, which is required for high-density lipoprotein maturation. Question, what is the function of lipoprotein lipase? Answer, lipoprotein lipase degrades TGs and circulating chylomicrons and very low-density lipoproteins. Question, what does pancreatic lipase do? Answer, pancreatic lipase degrades dietary TGs in the small intestine. Intestine. Question, what is the role of P9 Karuna? Answer, P9 Karuna degrades low-density lipoprotein receptors and increases serum LDL levels. Inhibition of P9 Karuna increases LDL receptor recycling and reduces serum LDL levels. Question, what is the purpose of key enzymes in lipid transport? Answer, key enzymes in lipid transport are responsible for various processes related to lipids, such as degradation, esterification, and transfer of lipoproteins in the body. Question, what are lipoproteins? Answer, lipoproteins are complexes of lipids and proteins that play a crucial role in the transportation and metabolism of fats in the body. Question, what is the importance of HDL maturation? Answer, HDL maturation is important because it helps to remove excess cholesterol from peripheral tissues and transport it back to the liver for elimination. This helps to maintain healthy cholesterol levels in the body. Question, what is gluconogenesis? Answer, gluconogenesis Genesis is a metabolic process in which the body produces glucose from non-carbohydrate sources such as amino acids and fatty acids. Question, what is serum LDL? Answer, serum LDL is the level of low-density lipoprotein in the blood. Elevated levels of LDL cholesterol are associated with an increased risk of heart disease. Question, what are LDL receptors? Answer, LDL receptors are proteins found on the surface of cells that help to remove LDL cholesterol from the bloodstream. Recycling of LDL receptors is important for maintaining healthy cholesterol levels. Question, what is the relationship between P9 Karuna and LDL receptors? Answer, P9 Karuna degrades LDL receptors and decreases their recycling, leading to an increase in serum LDL levels. Inhibition of P9 Karuna increases the recycling of LDL receptors and reduces serum LDL levels. Question, what is the importance of maintaining healthy cholesterol levels? Answer, maintaining healthy cholesterol levels levels is important because high levels of LDL cholesterol are associated with an increased risk of heart disease. Question, what are TGs? Answer, TGs are short for triglycerides, which are a type of fat found in the bloodstream. They are a major source of energy for the body but can also contribute to the development of heart disease if levels are too high. Question, what is the role of lipases in lipid transport? Answer, lipases play an important role in lipid transport by degrading TGs and circulating lipoproteins, such as chylomicrons, 495, and IDL. This helps to maintain healthy lipid levels in the body. Question, what is the difference between 495 and IDL? Answer, 495 stands for very low density lipoprotein and IDL stands for intermediate density lipoprotein. 495 is produced by the liver and carries TGs and cholesterol to peripheral tissues, while IDL is a partially degraded form of 495 that carries a smaller amount of TGs. Question, what is the significance of degradation of TG stored in adipocytes? Answer, the degradation of TG stored in adipocytes is important because it releases glycerol, which can be used for gluconogenesis and helps to maintain healthy energy levels in the body. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses which are structured to follow along with the first aid for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.